games, don't you play? I'm a spender like I'm getting paid. So tonight, I'm a party like a rock star. So tonight, I'm a party like a rock star. Feeling me, I feel like a rock star. So tonight, I'm a party like a rock star. They been on my case for so long, I can't place the time it takes to erase all this hate. This pain is ingrained in my brain, in my sane. I don't really know anymore. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now, get free employment. Hey, it works. What's going on, YouTube? It's Nox Hill, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, it is Monday. Our day to do something different. Oftentimes, we cross international waters, and today we're going to get our passports out because Blackpink is finally coming with a new album. The return is here. You know you've been requesting it. That's exactly what we're going to check out today. It's none other than Pink Venom. But before getting further, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the song in the intro. Listen, if you guys like that, yes, I'm an artist myself. There's a good chance to like my breakdowns. What I think about music, you'll probably like my music as well. If you like that song, you want to check it out, here's some more. I will put the links to that below. Also, shout out to the Patreon and Patreon family. Exclusive reactions and content on there. A lot of K-pop related content. If this is a genre that you guys like, I will put links to that below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Blackpink, it's time. Step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. Whoa. Ah. Okay, you talk about a drop and first and foremost, I got to shout out that traditional Korean instrument that they use like the wood with the strings. I love how they impacted against wood and that was the first hit and then whatever that was that they played the strings with. I love how they took that harmony and they cooked that into the beat. So way to take, you know, cultural traditional influences and cook those into modern day K-pop. That was very dope. Shout out to the production on that. I think that's called a, a Geo Mungo. I think. I think an impact string instrument like that. And listen to how we open up, right? Visuals, you start off, it's blurry. We're kind of out of focus. We're gradually revealing. We're trying to create that intrigue, that mystique, because we've been waiting so long for this, for the ultimate true comeback. And then as we go in, you know how I always talk about on these videos, the pink and the black. There's so much thought that goes into the symbolism, into the production, the director of photography, and the colors for these black pink videos. You got to appreciate it, man. Then Jenny coming through, just rapidly rapping. One more time. I mean, look at that. Look at those colors. I don't know what we have like around the hooded figures, like cyborg black pink warriors ready to take on the world. Oh, they got VR headsets on. And are they lit with pink? I think so. Uh-huh. <laughs> Listen, I love how she comes in with that swagger and that energy and that attitude. And taking my popcorn from me? I'm not watching a movie with Jenny. I mean, even when she's walking the runway through her lyrics, she's mimicking that with the visuals. Great lining up. And I gotta get me one of those monster trucks. Runways I walk, walk. Got the wordplay right there. When Lisa drops in, makes no sense. You couldn't get a dollar out of me. It's not making any sense, a dollar breaking sense, but also like it makes no common sense. I can't comprehend and understand it. Nice casual double they threw in. And if you look at the visuals, right? Makes me think of Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, but instead of the witch's red apple or green apple, whatever the color was, she's got a black apple. Get it like a black pink apple. Take a bite out of the apple and turn to what we're about to give you. There's a little bit of like an evil, darker shade underneath of that. And what was the other line? One by one, two by two. Is that a Ponde la Ponde replay? Shout out? I think so. Rihanna in the building. Oh wow. Did you hang on? We gotta keyframe this. I'm gonna do this. Look at that. She took a bite out of the apple, inviting you to take a bite out of the apple. Get the imagery, the symbolism there. But if you notice, it's pink inside that apple. That's clever. So you got the black and the pink again. And her eyes were pink there as well. Wow. Mm. Mm. 
No, she did not. She literally just ripped my heart out of my chest and has it there with her beautiful, angelic voice having your heart in the palm of her hand. Man, there's some deeper, darker visuals. And I love how she's like just walking in a bath of ink right now. That's interesting metaphors there, the fire that'll so slowly put you to sleep. So beautiful is brutal. And we've talked about this on other Blackpink songs, this sort of contradictory line that they walk between their name, the black and the pink, the darkness, the venom, you know, this more dangerous, wild underside versus the romantic lyrics, the brighter, the pink side, the love, the romanticized sort of elements and you combine between the two. So in this case, this line right here is a perfect example of that, like a fire gradually like putting you into a sleep, almost like the apple putting you to sleep. Get how we play on the apple and that's so beautiful, but it's brutal. It's a deadly beauty with it. Okay. Okay. All right, hold up, hold up. Again, I always talk about, I never know when things start to build and rise, like what direction we're going to go. Because naturally, you think as you get like these EDM style drums and this like dance hall buildup that we're just going to drop out and have like this epic sounding chorus when so much happens and it's like chaos in the instrumentation. Instead, it goes more simplified. You get that synthier bounce to it, a little bit more of a bassier feel. And then what a cadence switch. This, that, pink venom. This, that. I, I was not ready for that. That was a total switch up on the hook for me. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. What is this beat switch up? Now, this, this is my type of vibe right here. This is a very hip-hop switch up to the percussion and the drop-in. And then she comes in with a bar right away. Bodies, like they're killing it on the track, but stacking bodies like Rambo did. Shout out to Rambo, baby. Hmm. And obviously, rest in peace, playing off of the body's line, but then lighting a candle, like having a vigil at your funeral. What? 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 What is, what is she wearing? What is she? This is like, this is the greatest day of my life right here. Jenny is a Manchester United fan. Jenny, are we going to Old Trafford? I will, I will get you tickets. Let's go. <laughs> Even though they suck right now and it's going to be a long season. That, that just made my day. Let's get it. Hey, Jenny, you know I wouldn't get you tickets, but we can go sit in the Stratford Inn. We can go have a good time. Let's go. Diamond shine. Hang on. What? I like this internal I, I, I scheme she plays off of here. Diamond shining, driving silence. I don't mind it. I'm riding. See a lot of very, very condensed rhyme scheme right there coming through with. Okay. Okay. Oh, she had a nice little switch up there faster. Up in the sky and I'm wild. And then she comes back with that very punchy staccato delivery. But like every other word is hitting the rhyme scheme. That's smooth. I'm riding, flying, private side by side with a pilot. Up in the sky and I'm wild. It's silent on him and there's no chance. Because we got bodies on bodies like just a snow dance. Barring out again, more punchlines, bodies on bodies, like we're grinding on each other, but also like they're stacking bodies, RIP to the track and the no flows. Dance, okay, okay, I like that switch up. And then we're back to this play of beauty and yet poisonous. This darker undertone, I'm a flower with venom. See how the lyricism matches this sort of theme throughout. Nice.
I mean, I love that combination. Like you get just those more hard hitting sort of old school style rhymes and delivery. And then all of a sudden you come back with just some of the beautiful notes and singing of Jisoo. Oh, Okay. Shout out to Rose. You know, you know. Again, the set building though, I've seen this theme of the, uh, like the antlers and the deer in the back. There's been a couple of those statues. I wonder what that signifies, but here you've got like classic art, white that's been destroyed. So maybe it's like, you know, there's that venom, there's that darkness taking something that's beautiful, but destructive at the same time and just showing that chaos and that desolation there. Tell you Okay. Mm. Wow, I mean, that is so cool. Look at that. Like, just the lava in the fire, and she is spitting flames right now for us. Mm. I'm so rock and roll. Now I understand why they gave her the guitar playing off of that. Nice, clever visual double there. I mean, that's the thing. Yet another production switch up. You just, you never know what genre or what element we're going to enter when you get on some of these K-pop productions, man. Shout out to Teddy, as always. Ooh. I love how teasing that, that drum roll was, that snare roll towards the end right there. And then that last line, I bring the pain like, and instead of finishing that line, they leave it hanging. And then it bounces out and it reverbs out. And it's almost like they leave you wanting more. They leave you wanting to finish that line and wondering what is coming next. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this album. And listen, not everybody's going to love this. This is, this is pop. This is meant to be a single. This is going to do well. This is going to be successful because they are very talented. There's a lot of thought that goes into the production. There's a lot of thought that goes into the staging, to the visual elements. And then they have the talent. They can rap. They can flow. They can sing very well. You know, like I've always said, it kind of ticks all the boxes and it checks all the boxes. And it's for me, it's just something different to do. You know, we're obviously a hip hop heavy channel. I love rap, but it's fun doing K-pop. Because it's a change up for me. It's nice, but also you get some raps and you get some flows mixed into it that I get to break down and dive into. And Blackpink always brings it, bring the energy, bring the swagger, bring the style. Blackpink, you are Knox Hill certified. So if you guys like today's video, as always, thanks for being here. Listen, if you're here at the end, obviously you're enjoying the content. Do me a huge, huge favor, guys. You know we're going to be covering Blackpink in the album. Once it drops, we're going to work through all the songs. Subscribe, notifications on. It really does go a long way. I appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay positive. I love you guys. I'll catch you again. I'm out.